hope you guys enjoyed that short cinematic intro. I have to say thanks to my lovely girlfriend for helping me film that. But today we're going to be talking about this thing, which is the Brevity or Brevite jumper camera backpack. They were kind enough to send this to me for free. I didn't choose this color. At first I didn't like it, but I have to say it's actually grown on me and I really like this color. This is not sponsored, but they did send this to me for free for basically my honest review. I've been using this backpack for a couple of weeks now and I have to say I quite enjoy it. But before we talk about my experience, let's kind of go over the main features or just an overview of the camera bag itself. So in that case, you can already tell whether or not this bag is for you. So one of the first things that I've noticed immediately was the color and the quality of the materials. I have to say the quality is really, really nice. At first, I didn't like this color. I didn't pick it, but I have to say it's actually grown on me quite a bit and I do really like it. And like I said, it does feel quite robust. It does feel strong, like they've used quality materials. So I'm very happy about that, especially for the price range. And I do have to say, I really do like the design as well. It looks very nice. It looks very stylish. And even though it looks quite good, there is still a lot of utility with it. There's lots of pockets and storage compartments. So let's see what's on the outside of the bag first and then get into the insides. So one of the first things that I noticed was this kind of little pocket out here on the front and there's actually two zips, but we'll get to this one later. The zip on the outside opens up and you've got this little storage compartment. They've got these four pockets with uh, I want to call like net there's also quite a bit of space in there. I have to say I can fit my whole hand and I've got pretty big hands. Of course, you've got this little tripod water bottle thing. They've done a really good job with these elastic bands here where you can kind of stretch it and pull it. It's got a nice hooking system, so you can just kind of slide that in there. It works quite well. I haven't had the need to use it yet. I feel like you do have a little bit too much strap for the kind of size objects you would put in here. You're not gonna strap down a water bottle. And if you've got a really big tripod, I feel like this pocket is a little bit small. Um, I'm not sure how confident I would feel in that, but it's still nice to have this strap and the hooking mechanism is actually quite simple and easy. On the back side, you've got this little small pocket here on the back where you can kind of store maybe some more important things, a passport or wallet. And you've also got this strap so that you can kind of slide it over a suitcase or something like that when you're in the airport traveling, which is also a great feature. We've also got two tripod straps on the bottom here. So if you want to carry a bigger tripod that doesn't fit in here, that's also great. So you don't have to worry about this pocket potentially being too small because you've got these straps down here. Although I don't really like using those straps, it's great for those who need it or want to use it. And then on top of the bag, you've got a laptop compartment zip. I can fit my 13 inch MacBook Air M1 in there, no problem. It's not tight in there, but the opening uh, is a little bit smaller than the space inside. And then in front of the laptop compartment, you've got this little zip here, which opens up the bag. And this is essentially where you just, you know, the main opening of the bag where you put stuff inside. So those are all great features you'd find on a nice everyday carry. But of course, this is a camera bag as well. So there are a couple of camera bag kind of functionalities built in. So the first thing on the side is obviously this kind of uh, zip that opens up so that you can get access to the kind of camera compartment in there. For example, you just put a camera in there, but I'm filming on mine right now. Again, this is quite standard on most camera bags, but I have to say that it is nice to include it. And then of course, you've got this second zip here, which I talked about earlier. So if we unzip that, you can see that the whole front kind of just flops down and then you get a kind of top down access to your entire camera cube compartment. So that covers it for the kind of outside features of the bag. And I have to say it's actually quite nice, but what they've done inside is actually actually really, really interesting and really, really smart. So as you can tell, obviously all this material here is this kind of sticky stuff. Uh that Velcro likes to stick to so that you know you can just stick and organize your camera. Oh, God damn it. So you can kind of customize and stick these dividers wherever you want them. And you don't even have to use the side door. Everything inside here basically both the sides, the bottom and this pocket here and the, the divider at the top are all Velcro. I don't know what the term is for it, but basically it's sticky as hell with Velcro. So you can really customize the inside, which is great. So let me just rip out all these dividers and then we can show you how you would convert this to an everyday carry if you're someone who doesn't use cameras or likes to swap in between. So now that we have all the dividers inside, as you can see behind here, there is a kind of wall divider thing. All you have to do is really just pull it apart. 
there are already spots for it to be stuck down too. And then once that divider is down, as you can see, you're gonna put my hand through the top and it comes up through the bottom. There's no kind of divider or uh, obstacles in the way. So it quite literally becomes just a regular everyday backpack. So that's a kind of general overview of what's inside the bag and how the bag functions, all the functionality within it. But enough talking about the bag. Let's try to stuff as much as we can in there. So I'm going to put together a little kit that I would personally use to take out on a day trip. First, the A7 IV, gonna chuck that here. Then my drone, uh, Autel Nano Plus. I'm gonna slide this in here. I think actually that there's enough space to put it vertically. 70 to 28 from Tamron. Gonna slide that in there as well. Uh, here's my Rode microphone. Just gonna put that in there. It's already kind of stuffed. I'll turn the lens sideways and leave the drone as is. So yeah, it's pretty much full for that compartment. So uh, let's zip her up and then uh, look at what else we can fit in here. So let's put away all these batteries. I like these little nets here so I can separate them between charged and not charged batteries, which is great. I'll get my drone batteries and put those in there as well. And while I'm at it, might as well just throw the little drone co connector USB-C cable in there with the batteries. Little dust puffer, throw that in there. There's not much else that I would take, so I'm gonna close that for now. Let's look at the top of the bag. There's this nice little pocket here. I'm gonna put my wallet in there. Keys earphones, throw those in there, zip that up. So I got my little tech pouch here. There's all these chargers and cables, whatever I need for my daily needs, throw that in there. Fits in there quite snug and perfectly actually. Get the drone controller, let's shove that in there. Now I got my GoPro Hero 7 Black with a chest mount, I'm gonna slide that in there as well. It's getting a little bit cramped in there. Here's my Nisi filter case with a bunch of different filters. Going to try to shove that in there as well. Hopefully there's enough room. It's getting really, really tight now, but looks like I can zip it up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. And now the laptop. So I'm just gonna grab my uh, M1 MacBook Air, throw that in there. It feels a little bit cramped, but it still fits and a little Ulanzi mini selfie stick tripod, just slide it over there and that's basically it. So like I mentioned earlier, I've been using this bag for close to two weeks now and let's talk about my experience, what I like and what I dislike about the bag itself. So let's talk about the things that I like first and I have to say it is very comfortable, it is stylish. At first I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it's definitely growing on me and I have to say it does look good, it does feel good, it's also very lightweight. It forces me to bring a lot less gear and actually make me think and consider what am I going to bring. It might sound like a con, but actually I think this is a pro because this forces you to think and plan ahead head and if you do it enough then you can actually save yourself a lot of weight a lot of pain and a lot of energy because you're not lugging around your entire camera kit on your back i also do ride the motorcycle a lot so having the smaller bag is also very great because it's just smaller it's not as much strain on my shoulders as my tenba bag so in that aspect i also really do like that the customization is also great because like i said basically the entire inside of that camera compartment of the bag is that sticky velcro stuff so you can really play around with it and they don't limit you at all it's on the bottom it's on the sides and it's on the top so really like you know you can just go crazy with it and you know, do all kinds of weird shit, whatever you want to do with it. There's plenty of pockets as well, which is quite funny. I didn't expect to be able to fit that much in such a small bag, but to be honest, I wouldn't say it fits very comfortably, like I mentioned earlier. So it's really up to you, you know, do you prefer to have your bag completely stuffed and maybe not be so comfortable, everything doesn't sit so well. Of course, in some areas, it's a little bit disorganized, but you can fit a lot. So I have to say, I'm definitely impressed by that. And I do really appreciate that the laptop compartment is on the top. I had a low pro before, and I have to say that the laptop compartment was on the side of the bag. And when I'm driving around on a motorcycle, it did have a loop to kind of put the zip through and tighten it, but you know, it always gave me a little bit of anxiety while I was driving, because I don't want to be driving and suddenly see my, you know, a couple thousand dollars MacBook on the road just getting destroyed and obliterated by cars when I look back. So having the laptop compartment on top is great because, you know, worst case scenario, if you leave it open, when you go to pick up the bag, it doesn't just fall out, which is 
such a lifesaver in certain scenarios when you forget. I also do like the zippers here because they are quite long. They've got this nice little silicone sleeve on it and it makes it a little bit easier to kind of loop them together so you can get these two zippers. That way it's actually impossible or really hard for someone to just come up to the bag, open it out and steal your stuff. Or you can also do it if, for example, you're riding on the motorcycle and you really wanna ensure that all the zips are closed properly. And I have to say in general, this is a very good bag for someone who is maybe be a hobbyist photographer or a professional who wants a lighter weight setup. Maybe you're just going for a day trip and you just want to bring one body and a couple of lenses. If you're someone who wants to carry two bodies or a larger drone and a couple of lenses, then I have to say I would be a little bit worried and a little bit unsure if I would recommend this bag to you. But for someone who's looking for a little bit more lightweight setup and someone who wants a nice everyday carry, I have to say that this bag does it quite well. So let's talk about the dislikes now. And I have to say one of the first things that I definitely noticed right away was the lack of a chest strap. I really do like my chest straps, especially if I'm going to go hiking or I'm riding on the motorcycle. It really does help alleviate some of the pressure on your shoulders. So I think that would have been a great addition to this bag. Another thing that did kind of bug me is the fact that you've got to put this back down and then zip it up this way. So obviously if the back gets dirty, if you're somewhere outdoors, then your back gets dirty. It would have been cool if maybe they had incorporated this zip onto the backside instead. I'm not exactly sure how they could make that work. Maybe stiffen up the material here in the back, just in the lower back section, have it open up that way. But to be honest, I have to say that in general, this bag is really, really good. So would I recommend the Brevity Jumper backpack? And I have to say, yeah, I think it's great value. Honestly, it comes in at around 170, 160 US dollars. I'll put the price up for you guys right now. It's comfortable, it's stylish. It's just lots of customization. It's packed full of features. You can also pick from a lot of different colors, which is also great to see. Usually camera bags are black or black. It's great that they've done something different. So if you're looking for a nice everyday carry that can also be a camera backpack with camera backpack features, then definitely check out the Brevity Jumper backpack. I believe that's the full name. <laughs> if not, I'll correct it here. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful at all, definitely would appreciate a like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the camera bag, feel free to comment down below. I'll definitely answer you there. I'll also leave a link, like I said, to the camera bag in the description to their website. You can check out other bags they have. They have some, you know, just everyday carries and camera bags as well. So definitely go check those out. And if I managed to convince you to buy this, then great. If not, I have to get more sales training but I'll see you guys around.